All right, well, welcome back to Icarus. Today, we've got some pretty ambitious plans, and I don't know how smart or potentially how stupid these plans might be, but what I'm referring to is the mission that we currently have started, and that's to kill like 20-something scorpions. But in order to do that, we need to get out to the sand or the desert biome. And I don't know how to get there just yet. I think it's on the other side of this mountain. Um, I think we can either go left or right to get there. But there's a few things that we need before we go. And I did a little bit of work here kind of in preparation for that. And that includes a couple things. One being I finished the leather unlocks, the leather armor unlocks, the arms and the feet I now have equipped. And then on top of that, I was able to unlock and craft the crossbow. And then I made a bunch of iron bolts. The thing with the iron bolts is they are very expensive to make. Um, what do they require? They require two iron ingots per bolt. So that requires a ton of iron. Luckily, I did do some smelting of iron and I did some mining in another cave. And so we do have a little bit more. We currently have 40, 53, and I do actually have some more in here. There's 50 there, and then, oh yeah, another 150 in here. And the reason that I haven't smelt the does yet is because we are going to need them. I don't know if we need that much, but we are gonna need them to craft some other things at some point. Um, potentially here in the near future. Now, you may have noticed in the bottom left, I do have an injury. And that's because I got a little bit overconfident and I started fighting a Komodo dragon with just my knife. I thought I was gonna be okay. It did bite me a few times. It didn't hurt me especially bad, but it did give me this infection, it, <laughs> which it has a negative 80% food effects duration and 100% poison afflictions duration. And I'm wondering, it's still got 450 seconds. It was something like crazy high. It was like two or three times this amount. Um, so it, I've had it for a while. I just decided to stop eating because it seemed like a complete waste. We've got more friends. These guys must have just showed up. Hold on, before we get to all that, let's run down here and um, let's see if we can make another friend really quick. Now, the first step in making a friend is deleting that friend's parent. <laughs> I feel so bad doing that. Yeah, sorry, little buddy. Um, let's just let's just take care of that right now. Now, if you saw, I think it was two episodes ago, you would know that the last MOA that I had ran away. It was very unfortunate, but now we have a new one. So come on, little buddy, you're gonna meet Guy. And now I don't know what to name this one yet, but we'll figure that out. I am totally open to suggestions. Oh, that guy just hops over the railings. Yeah, these railings are completely pointless. All right, come on in here, little buddy. No, not in the water. Why are you in the water? Why do you guys keep going in the water? This is a problem. <laughs> no. Come back here. This way. Okay. Um, but what I wanted to do after I get this guy in here is I wanted to see if I can create some anti-poison paste that would stop this infection. But I have a feeling by the time we get him in here, we won't even have that infection anymore. All right. Now come in here. There you go. Good job. Now I'm wondering if I need a bed for each of these guys. Okay, well you can stay in here. Are you gonna go rest right now? Okay, so it looks like they kind of share the bed, so I'm wondering if they might just have to take turns. Yeah, you get some rest. Um, you should have a good amount of food still. Yeah, let me throw in some more for you guys. Yeah, you guys should be eating just fine. Get you nice and fattened up. How are you doing? You're doing good. You need to eat some food, but other than that, you're good. Okay. But I did unlock a few things, um, one being the anti-poison paste, but I think we need a station to craft that. Or wait, no, we might just need that mortar. Mortar and pestle? Is that what it is? Uh, I don't see it in here. Let's go up to our workbench really quick. Here we go, the mortar and pestle. Um, we need some silica and stone. We should have some of that. Should have a little bit of silica somewhere in here. Is it in my furnace? It is, it's 12. I think that's the exact amount that we needed. Okay, so let's make one of those. Oh no, we only needed four, okay. I don't imagine we're gonna need more 
than one. Or at least not right now. So I think we should be able to place this kind of anywhere. Yeah. Um, should we put it downstairs? Ah, uh, there's nowhere good to put it down there. I want it up on, like, one of these workbenches. So I'll put it right there. So what can we make? We can make some tree sap from sticks. We can make epoxy from crushed bone. We should be able to make, yep, crushed bone. Wait, it says it requires a mammoth tusk? I don't think it ever used to, from what I remember. Let's make some tree sap while we're here. Really, it needs mammoth tusk. Well, that's gonna be a problem. Because in order to make the epoxy, we need some mammoth, or we need some crushed bone. Well, let's see what it takes to craft an anti-poison paste. Oh, we don't even need the mortar and pestle for that. We just need fiber, spoiled meat, and charcoal. We have plenty of all of that. I just want to see if if this works properly. Um, we should have a bunch of spoiled meat somewhere. Here's some. Let's take some of that. Okay, here it is. So, I guess let's just make like we're going to make 10. We've got a bunch of the ingredients. We're going to be fine. It's not really a waste. All right. So currently we're at 90 seconds. Let's just try and use one. Let's see what that does. Um, it didn't do anything. Maybe, maybe it doesn't count as a poison, I guess. It just has poison afflictions. That might be the case. Okay. Well, that's all right. Um, I'm going to craft a little bit more and then... One of the big plans, like I said, is we want that scorpion. And the thing is, we're going to be going into that desert biome, which means we need a few things. Or at least I think that we need them. One of them, I would think, is a cooling bandage. I don't have that unlocked yet, so maybe we level up one more time before we go there. And I wonder how much heat I'm going to be putting on just from this leather armor. So this does have plus 1% heat resistance. I don't know. I don't really want to take a chance. I don't, I don't want to get out there and then realize, like, the one thing that's holding us back is the fact that we're suffering from some kind of heat exposure. Okay, now that Komodo bite is gone, let's just eat a bunch of food. So yeah, they're all at 1200 seconds. When I had that Komodo bite, they were all down to 200 seconds. So I, I, I didn't even see any point in eating. And now next thing I wanna do is I wanna make sure all my tools are topped off. I don't think we're gonna use the longbow, but maybe we carry it just in case. And then I'm gonna bring my crossbow and iron bolts. And then I think we just make some more iron bolts. At least nine more. We're gonna have 40 total. I hope that's enough. Yeah, the bone arrows do 54 to 60 damage. The iron bolts do 81 to 90, so that's really good. Oh, and then another thing we're gonna need to make sure to bring is water. Oh, that's what um, I also unlocked is I unlocked a canteen option. Now, I don't think we can craft it in here, can we? No. What about in here? No. Oh, you know what? I know how we craft it. We craft it using the machining bench. And in order to craft the machining bench, we need 10 epoxy. In order to make the epoxy, we need crushed bone, which is made out of mammoth tusks. Now, where in the world are we going to find mammoths? My guess would be somewhere in the snow biomes. Maybe that's up this way. This is a massive world. So we're gonna have to figure that out first. We have a long trek ahead of us. I'm gonna offload as much as I can right now. And then I guess maybe we, I, I guess we travel maybe to the winter biome first. See if we can get some mammoths. And I know even in the snow biomes, they're gonna be not just because of the mammoths, but because of the polar bears as well. I am not feeling very confident about that. So I'm just trying to think ahead right now. So obviously we're going to want all the right weapons and potential tools if we need to harvest any resources. And I'm also thinking maybe we bring enough things to build at least a temporary shelter because we know the weather is going to be one of our biggest enemies. So let me go up here, grab what we have. Thinking we're going to need it. If we just build a little one by one, we're going to need at least eight wood beams, four walls, and two floors. Maybe we bring twice that just in case we need to build more than one shelter. And so that way we don't have to pick up our entire shelter before we leave. We can have multiple potentially. All right, before I do anything else, I want to take care of a little business here. Oh, boy.
Okay, I'm crafting up some extra bandages, some suture kits. Um, pretty much, I, I know I'm completely over-preparing, or at least I think, but I'd rather be over-prepared than under-prepared. Um, I'm crafting a bunch of walls, got some doors, uh, even some ramps, and some posts. So I guess the play would be to go to the winter biome, see if we can kill some mammoths, which is kind of a crazy thing to say. And then um, we're going to have to come back to our base here, craft whatever we need to, kind of rest and recoup, and then make our trip out to the desert biome. I think that's the play for this one. Like I said, this is going to be this is gonna be an interesting day for sure. Now, while I kind of wait out this storm here, I did also unlock the carpentry bench. That needs 120 copper nails. I think we've got enough for that. Here, let's grab those. Let's jump into here. Max that out. Yeah, we're going to have enough. You know what? Screw it. Let's just make, um, what is that, 200 total? And there we go. Let's get 120. Let's go back up here and let's craft this bad boy. Now, I believe this bench is going to allow us to craft like refined wood and stuff, which we'll be able to use in different interior building as well as like different crafting recipes. Oh, look at that. That thing looks so cool. All right. Okay, so we can craft kind of general stuff in here. It's probably cheaper in here to craft than if we were to craft it through our own inventory. But yeah, right here, refined wood. That's what we were looking for. We're going to be able to make a bunch of that. You know what? Might as well just use what I've got on me. Just make a bunch. We're going to need a bunch in the future, so let's just get it out of the way. We have a ton of wood. Let me actually... Let me go check that out. I just used up like three stacks, three or four stacks, but like I said, I did a little bit of work. This uneven terrain, it, got, it has them stacked wonky, but it works. How are you guys doing in here? Doing okay? Okay, I was a little bit worried you'd gotten out, but he looks good. Taming progress is at 93%. I say we're going to leave the Moa here for our trip. We're going to take the Buffalo. He's just so majestic. I'm guessing this guy's probably a little bit faster than this. If we check this guy out, we can actually look at all of his stats. His movement speed is 140. Um, he's not super fast, but his sprint speed is 1,076. But he has really low stamina. Okay, you guys still good on food and what? Oh my gosh, you guys ate so much food. Like, I know you're chunky, but relax a little bit. Okay, well, I don't want my Moa to starve. Let me go find some food for him really quick. I'll stock up on that, and then I say we just we head out. All right, guys. Well, it looks like Coupe here is already fully grown. Let me uh, restock some food here. I got a bunch. Got some watermelon, some pumpkin. I'll throw in all the berries that I have. Well, I'll hold on to 97 just in case. And um, he's pretty good on food. It's getting late in the day, so before we go anywhere, I'm going to sleep so we don't have to work through the night. All right. Good morning. Put the campfire out. Let's go get Guy. And then, um, I, I, I guess we head out. that Shakura the Sleeper. I have to go this way because I believe there's an entrance to the snow biome over here. But I think there's some kind of like wolf den over there. That, that's what it sounded like. A bunch of wolf howling. And um, oh, there's a bear right there too. Oh my goodness. This is not going to be an easy trip, is it? I haven't even got to the snow biome yet. And um, we've already run into several pretty big dangers. I need to get up over that way. Okay, we're just taking a very wide route around these guys. Hopefully none of them see me. Uh, <laughs> that's the last thing I need. I'm already going to be facing some woolly mammoths. 
And so the last thing I need is some massive wolves or bears coming to attack us. Yeah, see, this looks like an entrance right here into the snow biome, so I think this is where I need to be going. Another reason I decided to take my buffalo is because I figured he'd fare a lot better in this winter temperature and weather than that moa would. These things were built for that type of weather. But I do know that I risk losing this guy to any potential enemies or even, like I said, the weather itself. And here we are. This is going to be interesting. We are now officially in... Oh, no. I just looked at the three-day forecast, and it is not looking good. I'm, I'm showing up right as we're going to have a little bit of weather. So we might have to put a base down pretty quickly and just kind of wait it out. But, um, yeah, I'm already showing that I'm cold. What's it, what's it telling me down here? Core temperature is dropping. Hunger's increased. You need to warm up or find shelter. Did I bring anything for... Oh, shoot. I didn't bring any extra wood or anything. There are trees. We can craft those uh, logs into sticks, so that's good. And then we've got a stone that we just passed. Let me make sure I've got stuff for that before we go any further. Ooh, I gotta be careful. <gasps> that was really close. That could have killed my buffalo. Also, I did upgrade in the tech tree or my skill tree to automatically collect all the wood as soon as I chop it. So I no longer have to collect that. Okay, let's craft this up. We've got a full inventory. We can end up dropping a lot of this stuff. Um, but for now, let's just keep moving. We could throw some stuff in our buffalo too. I got to remember that. Oh my goodness. I don't know if I'm prepared for this snow biome. This is going to be interesting. There's a lot more wolves, it seems like. And Lord knows what's going to be beyond these icebergs. Oh boy, there's a massive crack in the ground here. Okay, we can get around it. Good. Let's keep moving. Oh man, I am nervous. Okay, this is a problem. I don't know if we can get around this. I almost just got my buffalo stuck. Can we get through here? Okay, we can. But those wolves aren't happy that we're here. Come on, let's see if we can get away. No, I'm going to run out of stamina, aren't I? Here, let's just fight it. Ooh. Okay, okay, these are snow wolves. They are apparently different than regular wolves. Okay, let's keep moving, guy. Now, where in the world are these mammoths at? We need to find one and then just get the heck out of here because I don't know how well I'm going to fare out in this weather today. I hope I'm not wrong to think that the mammoths are going to be out here. If I am, then I made a potentially pretty big mistake. Where am I at? Okay. Oh my goodness, I am deep into the snow. I guess let's just keep going around here and um, oh, hopefully we find a mammoth. I, I, I really don't know. I'm kind of doubting myself right now. Um, I guess I'm going to try and go out into whatever this vast area is out here in the distance. And I don't know, maybe they're just out roaming. What do, what do mammoths eat out here? There's nothing. Oh, boy. Um, I just flashed red. I've got hypothermia. Oh, boy, this is fun. Let me try and set something down really quick. Okay, I put a little one by one down. We've got a door on it and a ceiling. We've got the fire going. Find a way to warm up fast. Yeah, this is my best way. Hopefully I don't have that fire too close to the walls here. We are warming up a little bit. I'm gonna try and get as close as possible without setting on fire. Okay, so the hypothermia went away. I'm struggling to even stay warm in here, but I think we're just gonna have to pick up and go. Let's take everything down really quick. Okay, we got just about everything we need. Let's keep moving. Yeah, we're probably gonna have to do that a few times. And I noticed that we can just pick up ice from the ground, which is nice. I don't know if we can do anything with it just yet. I'm wondering if we just have to have it. Oh boy, hold on, I should actually figure that out. Um, there was an option to pick it up over there. Shoot, I don't know if there are specific things. Maybe these things on the ground. Or these just... There we go. Okay, so we've got some ice. 
Oh wait, no, we don't. We our inventory is full. Oh, wonderful. Okay. Got some ice. I don't know. Can we just consume? No, we can't. Can we put it in our water? No, we can't. I. Ooh, this is gonna be tough. We do have some watermelons. Oh no, we're gonna we're gonna have to we're gonna have to build a base right now. Yeah, see, this is what I had to prepare for. Oh, wait, can we do anything with um, ice? <gasps> um, can we put our water skin in here too? Will that fill up with the... No way. Oh my goodness, I can't believe that works. So this should fill up a little bit, right? Thank you, let's consume that. Of all things that were going to be a problem, I didn't expect it to be water, but I think we're going to be okay as long as we keep finding some ice. And the thing about the water skin, too, is it leaks over time. So if you don't drink it, it's just going to go to waste. Okay, we're going to have to wait out the storm. It's just very light snow. It looks like we're going to be probably fine, but we are pretty dang cold right now. And the thing is, here in the tech tree, I believe in tier th three? No, I think it's tier two. We can unlock this fur armor, and I don't know why I didn't do that. Because that was going to help us way more than just this leather armor. But we're going to work with what we got. If we have to run back and, and come back with pretty much nothing, then we're going to have to do that. We're going to have to come back another time. That's okay. I'd rather go back empty-handed than die out here. So I still haven't found any mammoths. This is <laughs> This is insane. But it looks like there is a cave here that I can uh, chop into. So let me try and do that really quick. I don't know if there's going to be any different kinds of ores in this biome. But I guess maybe we'll find out with this one. So far, it's the usual. I'm not sure what this is. Oh, this is aluminum. Can't even mine that just yet. Got some gold, iron. Oh, boy. Yeah, I don't think there's anything special in here. I'm getting the heck out of here. I don't want to risk getting hurt or poisoned from these things. Especially if there's nothing of, of real value in there. Um, uh, what is that? I'm taking my crossbow for this. I've never shot this thing. That is a scorpion. Okay, see, that's what I was worried about, was how massive these things were going to be. I have to kill 23 of these. I didn't know that they could be found. Oh, there's another one in um, the snow biome. Okay, we're just going to go for it. I don't know how much damage I did. Okay, it has no clue where I'm at because I'm far enough away, so I think with this one I should be able to just keep hitting it from here. And I just got to keep an eye out for anything around me. There's another one up there. I don't know how fast he is, but this guy's taking a ton of crossbow shots. Is he alive? It's showing the exclamation point like he's aware. I'm just going to run in. Nope, he's alive. He's alive. I did 39 damage to him. That is not good. He doesn't seem super fast, but... Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. Stop, stop, stop attacking my... No, 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 no. Oh, Bison, run! I'm going to lose my bison, aren't I? I can't shoot my bow. I can't shoot my bow. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's happening with my bow. I can't shoot it right now. Run, no. He's so fast. He's going to kill him. He's going to kill him. Run. 
Let's get out of here. Run, 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 run. Oh my goodness, his health is so low. Are we faster? Barely. We got a wolf on us. Let's keep running. Where'd you go? <gasps> no! You son of a gun. I have to kill 23 of these? Oh my gosh. I'm in so much trouble right now. I have frostbite or hypothermia or something. There's a mammoth there now. Th this thing just fell down here, I think. This is... Oh my gosh. I... <laughs> I think I just shot him when I panicked. Oh my goodness. I just had a heart attack. Um, what do we have left here? Uh... No, 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 no. I need to put a base down really quick. Why is this happening to me right now? Oh my goodness. Um, for the next minute, I'm going to start taking damage. I, I just have to keep myself warm. Oh, I'm still trying to calm down from that scorpion popping up out of there. Wait, my hunt scorpion is still 0 out of 23. So that, that, that didn't even count. How many bolts did I... I don't think I got any of my bolts back from him. I only have 18. I, I think I started out with 40. I'm just hoping that mammoth doesn't get close enough and start attacking our, our little home here. Okay, I'm warmer. Let's grab our stuff. It's about to be nighttime too, I think. Yeah, it's nighttime. Um, this thing is hideous. Oh, is my buffalo gone? No, he's over here. Oh, um, and I lost every. Oh no, I didn't lose everything in the inventory. What can get? What can I get rid of here? Let's get rid of that. Um, we don't need the storage. Oh no, guy. I'm sorry. We have to run back now. Where are we? We're at a dead end. Maybe if we go this way, we'll be closer. Otherwise, we'll have to run all the way down here. Stay away from me. Luckily, I brought a ton of bone arrows. I don't know if it's worth risking it. It's nighttime. The temperature's dropped. Where'd that mammoth go? I don't know if we'd be in a safe spot to fight that mammoth. I don't know where that mammoth went. I say we just try and get the heck out of here. We're going to have to get the heck out of here. We need to go unlock some winter clothes. Because this is not safe. Fighting this this weather is difficult enough. Let alone fighting the scorpions. Like, I, I don't even know what to say. No, oh, there's a scorpion. I have to drop down. I have to drop down. I hurt myself bad. I hurt myself really bad. Please stay up there. Stay up there. I have 50 seconds. Can I make a splint or something? Hold on, we have a wolf coming. Um, I don't think I can craft a splint. I have to hope that that scorpion doesn't get down here before this thing wears off. Oh, I'm over encumbered. Here, let me drop these stones. Oh, no, 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 okay. So I'm still a little bit slow, but I'm doing better than uh, when I was over encumbered. I am in full on panic mode right now. And I am able to run a little bit faster when I have my bow out. Either my bow or crossbow. I don't think it matters. And another thing that I realized when I saw that last scorpion that made me jump off that cliff was that was a snow scorpion. So that's really nice to know that they are found both in the desert and the snow biomes. But part of me is hoping that the snow biome ones are actually a lot harder to kill than the desert biome ones. Because that one was insane. If they are anything alike in terms of like their health and their protection, we may need to just grind it out and upgrade it to our guns. We're going to have to unlock guns and then we can use that to at least weaken them. So I know it's a little bit difficult to craft. Oh, I don't know if it's difficult to craft ammo. Um, I just think ammo is pretty sparse or the resources to craft them are. Oh, I just heard a cat right here. Sneak attack, only 200 damage. Got wolves. Get away from me. This is insane. Yeah. No, 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 no. 
Oh, no, 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 no. I'm pinned right now. We got a woolly mammoth and a snow scorpion. I just gotta run. I just gotta run. I'm trying to go right in between them. The wolves, I don't think, saw me. And if I set off one wolf, it sets off pretty much the entire pack. Like this one, okay, we're good. I marked an entrance up this way, and I'm hoping that this is to get into the next biome away from these guys. This is absolutely insane. Okay, so we made it out of the snow biome, but it looks like, is this a pig? Oh, it is. It's a boar. Beautiful. Oh, oh gosh, there's a bear right here. Okay, we are not out of the water yet. I'm going to let him pass. He didn't see me. I'm not taking any more risks. We already lost our buffalo. I don't want to lose my life. Okay, well, we are in a relatively safer zone right now, so I'm going to have to make the long trek back home. I love this lake over here. I would love to check it out, but I, I got to get home back to safety. My goodness, I cannot believe that we made it back. I'm bummed that we lost Sky. At least we have another pet that we have that we can ride around, but yeah, that's a bummer. Um, there are some more buffalo out here that I can tame, but you know, losing that first one's always a little bit harder. Let's just light up this fire. Let's try and put some of our resources away here. Um, and then kind of recoup and see what we came out of there with. Well, what little I guess we came out of there with. Okay, so as far as materials that we got, we've got a scorpion tail and a scorpion pincer. Pincher? Pincer. And then I guess some soft meat. Um, I guess we'll cook up some of that. And then we'll see if we can put the rest on the drying rack. Does that work? Yes, it does. Oh, I ran all the way through the night. It's already five in the morning. Oh man, I'm still trying to come down from just the intensity of that entire situation. That, that, that really took it out of me. On the plus side, we got some water in the water tank. Let's go check on our little buddy in here. I don't remember his name. What is it? Coupe? And this guy, we're gonna name Long Neck because of one of my all-time favorite films. But um, I guess we can put the saddle on him right away. We can... Speaking of long neck, I think, I think we do need a, a larger roof or a higher roof for this building. Maybe we do that here next, but... Oh, let's check on your food. How you doing? You're doing well. Let's throw some a watermelon in there for you. Let's come out here. Um, let's see here. Let's repair our bow really quick. Okay, um, as far as these tail and this pincer, I don't know what we can use them for. I'm just gonna throw them in the workbench for now and we'll deal with it later. Um, yeah, I am, I am exhausted after that. That took it out of me. And then I did pick up some coal ore on the way, so let's throw some of that in there. And we might as well grab some of our iron ore. Throw that in there. Let's just get that cooked up, because we are kind of running low. Um, but yeah, wow. Okay. <laughs> that really that really did take it out of me. Um, another thing I forgot to mention is I did make some more water skins. So let's just replace what we've got. And we should probably have multiple of these on us. But I'm guessing they all probably drain at about the same rate, so I don't know if it's worth it, but either way. Um, we're alive, and I guess that's all that matters right now. I'm going to put my crossbow away for now. We don't really need that on us. Um, and what I'm thinking now, we did level up to 21. We're almost to level 22 now. Um, that's one thing that that place is good for, is definitely getting a bunch of XP. 
But I say we do some fur chest armor, leg armor and head. And then, oh, we do have one more. Is there anything else that we need outside of the armor, maybe? There's some fortifications. There's the herbalism bench where we can make some antibiotics and stuff. Oh, maybe we want that. We can use the herbalism bench to make like stamina tonics and things like that. Well, we're gonna need steel bloom and something. You know what? No, we're just gonna go with the armor for now. Let's put some on our feet. So that's gonna take some leather, fur, and rope. Let's just take pretty much everything we've got in terms of that. Um, we should have some more rope in here. We're gonna need to make some more. Okay, let's make some head armor, chest, leg, and feet. Okay, so I'm just going to leave them in there for now. We don't really need it. Oh, that's so cool. It adds it to the little statue thingy, whatever it's called, the stand. That's pretty cool. Okay, so let me grab, I think it's probably sticks and fiber, and then I'm going to need a bunch of wood. What we're going to do is we're going to add to the roof to our friend's little home out here. Oh! Oh, look at you. You're not getting out of there. Maybe we craft some windows too. <laughs> you know what? While we're here, let's use our carpentry bench because I think it is cheaper. So if we're going to make the wood angled wall, it takes two fiber and eight wood. If we were to do that in here, it's six fiber and ten wood. Yeah, that is way cheaper. So I think we need at least four, right? Let's do four. And then let's go down here and grab some wood from our wood piles. Here we go. We shouldn't need a whole lot. What I can do is once I take off the ceilings of the the pool house out there, I'll call it, that we have for our animals, we can recycle those for some more materials. And we've got some windows that we can add on out there as well. All right. Hopefully he's still in here. He seems like he's got some ways of getting out. He wants to get out. Look at him. <laughs> I'm just peeking his head out. You know, maybe we go up there. Can we do some jumping up here? Yes, we can. Okay. There we go. I've made a little bit of a mess, but that's okay. So I guess we should probably start here. Let's start with the angled walls. Okay. So, oh boy. They do not like that. There's not enough structural support here. So let's throw some down. Does that help them? I think it does. I forgot that that is a, an issue that we need to deal with. We need to make sure that we have structures in all the important places here. Oh my goodness, this cooked soft meat gives us 100 max stamina, 150 max health, 20 health regen per minute, and 5% experience gain. That is pretty dang good. Okay, and bam. Now we got it finished off. Um, how many windows did I make? I only made four. Let me make two more really quick. And then we'll throw them on all these slots here. There we go. Let's open them up. Get some fresh air in here for our little guy. And we'll open these up too. There we go. Now, kind of looks a little ridiculous from the outside. But <laughs> those uh, roofs are pretty dang steep. Actually, from this side, it doesn't look too bad. It's kind of like when you look at it head on, it doesn't look so great. But that's going to do for now. Um, let me see if I can add any posts just to make sure that we've got some structural integrity here. And then what we can do is we can actually rotate them sideways or at an angle. There we go. There we go. I think that's going to be pretty darn good. Are you happy, Long Neck? I'm building a pretty dang safe structure for you. Though I don't think he has to worry about the structure collapsing. It's more of me bringing him out into danger and getting attacked and killed by other animals. Uh, other than that, it's he's got it pretty good. All right. I know the day just kind of began, but I think my adventures for today 
are coming to a close. I had a ton of fun. It was also absolutely terrifying. It's probably the most intense experience I've had out here on Icarus. But yeah, I'm gonna call it a day. If you enjoyed, please let me know. I'll throw a like on the video. It really helps. Subscribe if you do want to see some more of this type of stuff. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you in the next one. Later. Thank you.